Hi guys. What we have here is the remains of a couple of clockwork toy cars. Um, I've got quite a collection of this style of clockwork toy and some of them I've cannibalised so we get working uh, cars out of them. So I've taken bits out of them and I think this is just two. It may be three pieces but I think it's two cars where I've used bits for other cars. Uh, this one I know I took out the plastic winder that fitted there because that was broken on one of the cars but it looks like that spring is okay and on this one I think we can safely say the spring isn't okay. So I was wondering whether I can pinch the spring out of this one and get a working car out of this one. Um, quite a bit of the bodywork on that one was broken so I'm not going to try and reassemble that one. This one, it appears I've actually thrown the bodywork away for some reason. Um, so I'm just going to see if I can remember enough of the sequence to try and get this one back together with that spring. If we can get it out reasonably, yeah. Yeah, I'll give it a bit of a clean, and this one's got some sand in it, so I'll give them a bit of clean and then we'll carry on. I've cleaned the oil or grease or whatever it was off that spring. I've cleaned the sand out of here, although as I look at it I can still see the odd grain in there. This is the bit that goes in here. the winder. So we need to put the tension back on here to get it in there. This could be fun. And if we can Try and wind it up and get it in at the same time. In an ideal world, you'd have some sort of clamp to hold it in place to stop it all springing out. That seems to be in. Well, I may have to adjust that a bit to get that in the right position. I'm 
not even sure that I've wound it in there the right way around. That'll be fun. That goes over there. That goes in there. Right, what else do we need? the bit I don't know if we can see there's a slot there that slides up and down depending on whether you want it to freewheel or grip is it that one Hold that with one hand. Yeah, that one I think. And then that's going to be. The axle. Okay, that looks like that one probably goes up there. Or does it go that way around? to guess some of this. of there without it springing apart. Looks like we might be okay.
be the other way up. I'm just going to go over the top of there. Get that to go in there somehow. This is getting a little bit awkward. Do you know what will happen? I'll get it this far together and then there'll be something I've missed. Oh, let's see the springs drop back in again. Oh, that's in there. Can, should there have been that one in there somewhere? No, that's feeling good at the moment. I'm going to pop a couple of screws in there and see if that's hold it together.
Okay, nothing's happening. Look to me like we've got something missing now. That one went in there. That one goes on there. I can see that because it's got a knurled edge on it. Probably had to get that one off to get it apart originally. So that would drive that. But there should have been one in there, I think. Looks like we missed one. All right. Okay, I'm going to have to take it apart again, and the battery's going on the camera, so... It's that orange one just there is the one I've had to get in place. So I gently eased it all apart. Hopefully I can squeeze it back together again now. I think we're there. Put a few of these back in. Stop it springing apart while I check what we're doing. Come on. Now, it should line up. Ah, oh, all that effort, and I've just spotted. 
that green one's got a tooth missing. Oh, I don't believe that. Why didn't I spot that earlier? The green one there has got a tooth missing. Oh, how frustrating. Because that's got a different setup, so they're probably not going to have the same piece. Does it matter? Of course, it's just possible. That's why I didn't bother repairing it before. It's quite a long time ago since I had a go at these. Yeah. If I turn it a little bit, then the other teeth come into line. But, uh, yeah, I think we can forget that. Right, so wheels. Let's put them on a little way for now, just so we can see whether they turn or not. Yep. Front wheels, that looks like that's the front axle. Ah, before we go too far. Oh yeah, there's no point in trying to do this, is there? Because if if that's not going to turn, there's no point in putting that on there to turn that, which would turn. Which one of these? Turn that, and then that. Turn one of them turns that. That one goes on there, that turns that one, and then that one. Well, we'd need another one in the middle there. And then that would turn that one, which makes the um, pistons go up and down. So that's not going to happen. Sounds like our dinner's ready anyway. No, oh, apparently not yet. Yeah, a bit of a shame that, but I'm now guessing but that's why I didn't use this before, because we got broken gears up there. That's a shame. I suppose the positive side is I do know I've got a good um, spring in there that I can use in another model if necessary. I don't want to say fail because I ha have at least managed to get it back together with a working spring. But with a broken gear there we won't be able to get all the, all the features working. That'll do. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar 
on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.